Remember when you opened your first Zelda world and were met with this? But whenever I open Minecraft, it's boring. So to fix that, what if I built Breath of the Wild in my Minecraft world, building everything from all the divine beasts to every single shrine? And when I tell you this project is big, I mean big. But first things first, I need a spot to build it. And I think right here is exactly where I want to do it. But the first thing I need to do here is, you guessed it, make an outline. Now I need to collect roughly 500,000 dirt to fill in the outline. For reference, this is what 500,000 dirt looks like. And this is not gonna work. So I gotta build a dirt farm. I need 1,600 obsidian, 700 observers, 1,000 pistons, 400 hoppers, and a bunch of other stuff. First, I started with the obsidian, making a simple farm which got more than enough. I also made an iron farm, a slime farm, a bee farm, and manually grinded out the rest. This literally took over 300 days to get, and now I have to build it. Yes, this farm did take me 5 hours to build, but am I ashamed? No. May maybe. Yeah, and now I can sit here and AFK all the dirt I need. And now with all this dirt, let's go fill in the outline. On second thoughts, that was only 20,000 dirt, and it took me just over an hour, meaning I would be here for 15 hours straight filling this in. So I'm just gonna skip it and start working on the shape of the island. But there's just one tiny problem. We don't have the shape of the island. And that's where my friend Trippy Dog comes in. He does his blender magic, and we have a 3D shape of the island in Minecraft. And it requires almost 600,000 blocks. And almost one third of it is sandstone, and I ain't mining all that. So I built a sand duper. That's it, I just built a sand duper. And that's all the sandstone collected. Next, I need 200,000 dirt. So I just need to go back and forth transferring all the dirt from the farm. And that's all the dirt collected. The last thing we need is around 90,000 snow. And it's been four hours. So with all the resources, I can get to placing 600,000 blocks. Why do I do this to myself? As you can imagine, placing 600,000 blocks is not fun, but I kind of just sat there and placed them anyways. Yeah. And after like 12 hours of on and off work, I finally finished the island. Okay, so the next order of business is the grass because there is none. So I just need to go around the island placing a bunch of grass blocks so they all grow. And then while this is growing, I'm gonna start working on all the water. To do this, I went into creative world and selected the whole build with world edit. Then I deleted every block in the build besides the lapis, changed the lapis to stone, and made a lightmatic schematic for it. Then I imported it into my world and moved all the stone one block down to hold the water. And as for the stone... It's been two hours. All right, now I guess the next thing to add is the water. All right, so after one hour of work, let's see how far we are. I've been working for about an hour and I'm only 8% done. This is gonna take a while. Next up is the trees. To do this, I'm just gonna add spruce trees in the Heber region and oak trees in Central Hyrule. But to get trees, I need saplings. And to get saplings, I need to mine saplings for eight hours straight. Yeah, yeah I have all the saplings. It literally took two hours. Uh. And with all the trees growing, we can finally work on the most important part, bone meal. I seriously need to stop. Damn, that is so sick. I wonder how long it's gonna take me to build the rest of the island. Okay, so with everything involving scenery on the island complete, I can start working on actual builds. I'm gonna start with the easier builds and work my way up to the harder ones. The first thing I wanna build is the Great Plateau. If you didn't know, it's the first place you encounter in Breath of the Wild, and it's basically just the tutorial. But this is what the plateau looks like in the game, and this is what it looks like in my world. This plateau is gonna require a lot of stone bricks, so as you probably guessed, I'm gonna build a stone farm. Okay, and now I can AFK for all the stone I need. I forgot I need a beacon, which means I need to go get three wither skulls and kill the wither. Oh, and there's the first one already. Hey, and that's the second one. Oh, thank God that took way too long. And now I can head over to the end and use this method to easily kill the wither. Oh. Oh, 
and now I can craft a beacon and build it out of emeralds because why not and get all the stone I'll ever need. Then I can craft all the stone into stone bricks, line up the schematic and start building. Now I need to fill it up with land so it's not just a wall. So the first thing I need to do is remove the lower layer and then replace it on the top of the wall. Then as a finishing touch of the plateau, I'm going to add the temple of time. It's basically just the main building on the plateau, but it's pretty important game wise. And that's the plateau fully complete. I think now is a good time to tell you guys the real reason I'm even doing this in the first place. To put it plain and simple, Minecraft just hasn't felt fun. Longing for that feeling of excitement to get home from school and immediately start playing has been growing increasingly. So in efforts to spark that feeling again, I thought to bring games I'm enjoying as I age into the game that started it all. So with that said, next up on the list is shrines. They're basically small dungeon puzzle rooms you complete for a reward. To design this shrine, I just went on Google and looked up reference photos, and then I just kept building until it looked right. Then I found this shrine map and overlaid it onto my in-game map to find where each shrine needs to go. Here's the material list for one shrine. I need 50 times this. Luckily I have three farms that produce me literally all of the resources I need, so let's go building. Ever since I was a kid, I've wanted to pursue YouTube full time. So my parents said if I hit 10,000 subs by the end of the year, I can continue. So if you want to help and make that dream come true, a sub to the channel would really mean a lot. Not gonna lie, these shrines add so much to the environment, but this is just the beginning. I'm gonna add these Sheikah Towers all around the map, and there's 15 in total. And just like the shrines, I designed them in creative and made a schematic. Luckily I have this wood farm because it literally requires almost 100 stacks of wood logs. Now with all the easy builds out the way, I'm moving on to the medium ones. First, I want to build the Divine Beasts. If you didn't know, they're basically just the locations you fight the four bosses to complete the game. And for some reason, I designed them with a ridiculous amount of mud bricks. So now with all the resources, I can build the first beast, the camel thing. I think it looks fine. Stop the cow. I also built the bird thing and the elephant. Now there's one more beast, but I can't build him yet because I want him halfway inside the volcano. And I don't know about you, but this doesn't look like a volcano. So first I'm just going to trim it down and create a kind of cup inside. Okay, buddy. Then I'm gonna go grab lava from the nether and start filling the volcano. And as a finishing touch, I'm gonna place some lava up here so it gives the effect that it's like running down it, kind of. Wait, why isn't it stopping? Oh, that was close. But now with the volcano built, I can add the fourth beast, the lizard guy. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with how everything's turned out so far. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Anyways, the final medium level build is the Grudo Town. It's basically the desert region's village. Luckily, the material list is pretty light, so... Nice. And the last thing I need to do is add water. And that's all the water in place. Now, I'm going to build two more things on the island before it's fully complete. The first is the Great Hyrule Forest, which is a forest with a huge pink tree in the center. And coincidentally, Minecraft added the perfect update just for that. Now, the 3D render of the map wasn't perfect so it puts snow instead of a forest so i quickly need to remove all this and then replace it with grass and now we get to watch grass grow for an hour <laughs> yay also it is a little island so i'm at a water moat around the whole thing this is actually my first time upgrading to 1.20 so i need to find a cherry blossom biome to make the tree oh there's one and it's only 10,000 blocks away let's be honest this has to be the best biome they've released so far and now with all this wood i'm gonna start designing the tree i don't want it to be too big but it can't be too small either honestly it looks pretty good and now i just need to add the leaves and then i'll add some petals at the bottom also off topic but i just hit a thousand days in this world so i built that and now i'm poor and i also built that now it's not really a forest with just a big tree in the center so i need to add a bunch of them around to make it a forest and as a final touch i think i'm gonna add a little stone here with an armor stand and an end rod pushed into it with a piston to somewhat resemble the master sword now the last thing i'm gonna build and probably the most important is hyrule castle and because the map is really small the material list is kind of easy but we need some wool so i can either a run around shearing sheep or b create a massive wool farm that's completely overkill It's not actually that big. Wait, I need dispensers, not dry. All right, it's been 20 minutes of shearing them manually and I finally have enough wool. And now with all these resources, I can build the castle. 
yeah it's not really that impressive but anyways i just built the whole breath of the wild map in minecraft hardcore a build taking me well over four months to construct and edit for what well while building this i realized the build is cool but what was really cool was finding excitement in a game i never thought i would again and truly having fun